Fran. Oh, good morning, Earl. I made you pancakes. No time for breakfast, dear. I'm late for work already. You don't have to go to work. Huh? What? You don't have to go to work. <laughs> no, no. Tell me why. Because it's the weekend. <laughs> Isn't it great? I love to fool myself that way. Earl. Let's do it again. Earl. Morning, friend. Earl, I don't have time for this. I've got a million things to do this weekend. Oh, as do I. I've got a full schedule of vigorous sporting activities. Mountain biking, fly fishing, a little volleyball, some cross-country skiing. Guess I better get started. Yay! <laughs> okay, back with more thrilling mountain bike action. Well, the gill coming up. I've got a carbo load. Bring on the pancakes. Good morning, everyone. Morning. Mother, look at you. That dress is beautiful. Don't you think she looks lovely, Earl? Oh, yeah, very lifelike. I'm going to ignore that because this day is a very special day for me, and no one can dampen my effervescent spirits. Not even you, you walking garbage heap. Whoa, special day, Ethel. What is it? Got your teeth in on the first try? <laughs> <laughs> Today, Mother's going to her 60th high school reunion. And the best part of it is, it's a whole weekend away from you, fat boy. Oh, I can top that. It's a whole weekend away from you. Nah. So how are you getting there? They calling you a cab or sending you a hearse? <laughs> Actually, Earl, that's what I wanted to talk to you about. Mother's reunion is too far away for a cab, and I have so much to do today, I can't possibly take her. And since you have the whole weekend free, I thought you could. No, oh, no! Oh, absolutely not! No way on earth! But that is final! Uh... Too fast. I don't like it when it's too fast. Uh, would you let me get out of the driveway? Are you sure this is wise, Mom? I mean, Dad and Grandma in an enclosed space together for six hours? Yeah, from a ventilation standpoint alone, that could get nasty. Oh, yeah. I'm sure they'll be fine. Anyway, we have important things to do today. That's right. Mindy and I are going rollerblading at the beach. Now, I gotta uh, go to the junior class car wash. And I've got to crawl around on the floor and look for things to put in my mouth. Huh? See ya. Yeah, yeah, you gotta go. Place to go. Hold it. Huh? Nobody's going anywhere. I got your father out of the house today for a specific reason. We're gonna move and not tell him? No, his birthday's coming up next month, and I thought it would be nice to give him a photo portrait of his loving family as a surprise present from all of us. Yay, presents! Uh... What do I get? You all get the satisfaction that comes with doing something special for your father. <laughs> You're kidding, right? No. Now we need to get ready. The photographer will be here any minute. Uh... Forget it, Mom. There's a new lifeguard at the beach, and Mindy and I have to skate by a million times and hide and giggle. I don't see how we can get out of it. Yeah, and I gotta go to that car wash. They put me in charge of accidentally spilling sudsy water all over the girls. That's quite an honor. You're darn right. Yeah. yeah. Well, too bad. After all your father has done for us, a simple family portrait is the least we can do. Yeah. No, Mom. I'm sure we could do less. Yeah, there's always nothing. Yeah. We are going to do this. Now I want you to march right upstairs and put on your dressy clothes. <gasps> no, not the little blazer. Not the dorky blouse with the poofy sleeves. <laughs> Ribbon round the old oak tree. It's been three long years. Do you mm. still want me? I'm not gonna make I it. I don't see a ribbon round the old oak tree. I'll stay on the bus, forget about us, and put the blame on me. If I don't see a ribbon round the old oak tree. 
end of that number. Hey, there's more. No, there's not. Yes, there is. Radio's broken. No, it isn't. Yes, it is. No, it isn't. <laughs> and if you don't keep your yap shut, you'll be next out the window. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, no. No, you won't bat. Give me that cane. How dare you raise your arms to defenseless old lady. <laughs> Oh, that was too oh, close. Too close. You idiot. Are you drunk? That's it. <laughs> okay, Ethel. We are going to be in this car together for a long time. Uh, so I think the sensible thing for us to do is to clear the air. Uh, I hate you. What? I hate being related to you. And I hate having to drive you to your ghoulish, horrible reunion. Ah, well, I didn't ask you to drive. The only reason I'm willing to sit here and stare at the back of your fat head for eight hours is because this reunion's important to me. These are my oldest and dearest friends. Ha! They're my real family. They're the ones that care about me. Oh, yeah? Then why don't you go live with them? I might. My old girlfriends, Dorothy, Rose, and Blanche, been begging me for years to come move in with them, and I'm about ready to do it. Whoa! Well, then let's get you there as soon as we can. <laughs> oh, I think I could be driving home tonight by myself. Shut <laughs> up. You shut up. Tie a no. yellow ribbon around the old oak tree. Da -da -da. I'm not listening. I'm not listening. I'm not listening. I'm not listening. We have a number of photographic backgrounds available. This one is very popular. The County Fair. Voila. Ah. Hmm. Yeah. I see. Isn't it a little busy? Why don't you eat cotton candy? Why don't go on rides? Why don't you laugh? Oh. <laughs> what an adorable little muppet. Here's ah. Sonny. Don't eat it. It's a prop. <laughs> oh. Yeah, me. Give me more props. Oh, oh my. <laughs> Oh, there they are. Don't you look so grown up. Uh, Mom, I'm dressed like a four-year-old. I think this jacket's gotten a little small. Oh, it's fine. Yeah. You look very handsome. But Please. I'm losing the feeling in my fingers. Okay, now, this is the proper setting for the Sinclair family. A day at the beach. Huh? Ah, huh? Better use your sunscreen. Well, <laughs> I'm not sure. Oh, it's going to be perfect. Okay, now. <laughs> you wanted to go to the beach? Huh? Yes! Now that's a portrait. Uh, excuse me, but why am I wearing a wool jacket at the beach? Look, I don't see why we have to do this stupid family portrait anyway. We are doing it to show your father how much we love each other. Oh, you mean the tremendous amount of love we have for each other in general? Or the overwhelming affection we feel for each other right now? Oh, just shut up and let's get this over no, with, all right? No, you shut up, Blazer Boy. Maybe I don't want to shut up. Okay, we're very Bobby close. Charlene, Hold please. still, everybody, up, and say, shut cheese. Up, oh, cheese! I want cheese now! Oh, excuse me, excuse me, that's when you come back yes, here. Great. Come on, give me cheese now! You hey. go get it! Hey, get it yourself. <laughs> Robbie, stop that! She hit me right in the face. Oh, excuse me, it was for you, Robbie. Some girl. I told her you were at the beach. <laughs> According to this map, we've wandered completely out of known civilization. We've passed the mysterious gorge and the river of blood, and now we're deep in the heart of the Valley of the Roosters. What? <sighs> Your eyes are shot. Let me see that map. Uh, Valley of the Roosters. <laughs> oh, here we are. And it's not Valley of the Roosters. It's Valley of the Monsters! Monsters! <laughs> that didn't even sound like roosters. <laughs> See any uh, roosters out there? No. Uh, Just a inky, dark, terrifying void. Maybe we should turn around. Good idea. Yeah. <laughs> Go 
This is a tough situation. Yeah. But we can get through it if we stay calm and work together. Ah, Take her! Take him. There's more meat. <laughs> he wants you to roll down the window. Are you nuts? He'll tear us to pieces. Just don't touch that window. Uh, uh, Howdy. Uh, <laughs> Hi. Geez, what's his problem? Don't get me started. You folks lost? Need directions? Yeah, we seem to have wandered off the interstate. We're looking for Highway 7. Oh, well, you're way off. Now that's about 14 miles back. Let's see now. The best way for you is, uh... Oh, head back to where you came from, and then turn right at the Waffle House, then go left at the third light. Uh, you can't miss it. Oh, thank you. No problem, ma'am. Uh... He gonna be okay? Yeah, just a little car sick. All right. Y'all drive safely now. Such a nice young fellow. So polite. Uh, Earl, you okay? Earl, wake up. There's a Waffle House? Yeah, you're okay. Let's go. <laughs> Mom, this makes no sense. How come I'm wearing my stupid blue blazer to go skiing? I want to go back to the beach! Would everyone just stand in the position they're supposed to? Well, why do I have to stand next to him? Hey, you can have my spot here next to Diaper Boy. The Chris Mountain Breeze is getting kind of ripe. What's she supposed to do? Shut up! Shut up! Huh? I want all of you to just stop complaining, stand still, and yeah. smile. Why? Because I said so. Oh, there's a good reason. Because I said so. Come on, Mom. These don't be backdrops and these stupid skis. This whole thing's a joke. Yeah. Happy family. Yeah. That's the joke. Look, I was kid. just trying to do something nice for your father's mm. birthday. Right. Was that so horrible? <laughs> Whoa. Uh, I'm sorry. I've heard enough. It's uh -huh. obvious there are a lot of thorny family issues keeping you guys from being close to each other. Yeah. At least close enough for a good family picture. Now, I think the best thing to do, if we even stand a chance of getting a decent glossy print, is for us all to sit down and talk this thing through. Why should we listen to you? Yeah. Because, in addition to being a professionally trained family photographer, I am also a licensed family therapist. Huh? What? There. Now, who wants to share? Uh, can't this old junker go any faster? Yeah, if I threw you out. Well, we wouldn't be late like this if you hadn't gotten us lost. Well, you had the map. This is all your fault. I'm gonna miss the reunion. I'm gonna miss seeing all my friends. We're not gonna miss anything. I'm going 90. 55, 56, maybe. You were doing 96 miles an hour, sir. What? Uh, Did you hear that, Ethel? 96, pretty fast for a junker. <laughs> Hmm. I mean, too fast, and, and certainly not a safe speed if it weren't for the extenuating circumstances. Which are? Uh, uh, I'm taking the mother-in-law to the hospital. Hmm? The mental hospital. She's dangerously insane. Yeah? Uh, Doesn't look dangerously insane to me, sir. Don't lie to the officer, Earl. We both know that. I'm pregnant. Mm -hmm. About to give birth to triplets. Three beautiful bowling balls. Mm -hmm. All girls. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Ooh. Oh, my God. Uh, yeah, some days are worse than others. Well, I better get on to the hospital, officer. Let me give you an escort. No, no, no. No need. <laughs> Merry Christmas, Mr. President. <laughs> See you on Mars. Hurry. <laughs> Whoa, Ethel, you are good. Hey, I know how to handle a buzz. Yeah, we're quite a team, Ethel. Oh, you're a team all by yourself, bad boy. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey, I see our exit. You better start touching up your makeup. Oh, you better drive around the block. This could take a while. Mm. <laughs> it's just...
just that you complain we're not responsible, but then you don't trust us with responsibility. Ah, uh, very assertive, Charlene. Thanks. Fran! Well, I guess I got used to you being little kids, and I'm having trouble accepting you as independent young adults. Oh, I think Fran has looked into the mirror of herself and has seen something that maybe isn't so pretty. She's too controlling. I want to wear a dress. Let's all role play and see how Fran might have presented the idea of a portrait in a more family-centric way. Charlene, you play Fran. Love to. Robbie will play Charlene. Okay. And I'll be the cheese. <laughs> <laughs> Gee, after all that, looks like we're the first ones here. Oh, I'm so excited. Yeah. How do I look? Uh, um, well, uh, as beautiful as you could uh, reasonably be expected to be, uh, considering that, as we know... You're uh, too kind. Thank you. Hey there, class of 60 tour. I'm Barry Maloney with the Happy Reunions Company, sure. and we're the organizers of your gala evening oh, tonight. Yeah. <laughs> so let's just get you and your husband all yeah. checked in. He's not my husband. Ah, uh, I understand. Judge not. Obviously, whatever you're doing is working for you. <laughs> Name? Ethel Phillips. Ooh, uh, I mean Ethel Hinkleman. As I was known before I got married. Okay, let's just check the old listeroo here. Hinkleman, Hinkleman. Ah, here you are. Okay, now let's step any depth over here. Find your name tag. Then you can just hit that buffet. Ah, <laughs> Already? Okay. This way. Why am I the only name tag here? Where are all my friends? Well, let's just have a little look-see, okay? Uh-huh, mm-hmm, uh-huh, uh-huh, I see. Uh-huh, oops, that one, uh-huh, 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 huh <clears throat> They're all dead. <gasps> yep, according to my records, you are the only surviving member of the class of 62. Hey, look on the bright side. No wait at the buffet. But what about my friends, Dorothy, Rose, and Blanche? They were my best friends. We were gonna uh, live together. Hey, am I crazy? Or wasn't this supposed to be a party, huh? So let's get this reunion in gear, huh? Okay? <laughs> They're all gone. Now I'm completely alone in the world. Uh, listen, Ethel. I'm sorry about your friends and all. Uh... Do you want me to get you a drink or punch or something? No. Just take me home. Okay, folks, it's awards time. Classmate who has traveled the farthest. Ethel Hinkleman! Give her a round of applause. Beautiful. Classmate who has traveled the least. Ethel Hinkleman! Gain the most weight. Ethel Hinkleman! A yellow ribbon round the old oak tree. It's been three long years till you still want me. Okay, good. Now this could work. Everybody eyes forward, lick your lips, let's have a nice big smile, and we're home. Uh, Earl? Dad? What are you doing back home so soon? Well, the reunion sort of died early, mm. uh, to use an expression. Fran, <clears throat> what's going on here? Oh, it was supposed to be a surprise for Earl's birthday. Yeah. yeah. We wanted to give you a portrait of your family. How are you doing? What? My family. But... Uh, this isn't a picture of my whole family. Mm -hmm. Because there's a member of my family who's very, very important to me who's not in this picture. Mm -hmm. Oh. Gee, Aunt Pearl lives only far away. Mm, it's not Aunt Pearl. Well, Cousin Gus is dead. So is Grandpa Louie. Yeah. We don't have a pet. Maybe he means the TV. It's me. He's talking mm. about me, you fools. I'm an important member of the family. I'm beloved. Right, Bat Boy? 
Hey, Mom, we're friends now. I'm trying to be nice to you. You want to be nice? Stand still. <laughs> Hitting you is the only joy left in my life. Don't deny an old lady a simple pleasure. <laughs> this is so sweet, seeing you two getting along like this. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Very heartwarming. <laughs> Will you hurry up and take the picture? What? Yeah. Okay, everybody. Smile. You two, Grandma. <laughs> Big smile. Come on. Uh, Jeez, I thought I think uh -huh. you broke a rib. <laughs> hey, now I'm smiling. <laughs> Thank you.